What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Passive Income with ATM's Facebook group. I hope you guys are having a great day. Now, real quick, guys, before we go ahead and get started with tonight's live training, if you guys can hear me good, right? If you guys can hear me good, if you guys can see me good, go ahead and comment real quick in the comments, a quick thumbs up or a quick, you know, ATM emoji, whatever you guys want to go ahead and comment, but just go ahead and comment something real good, uh, real quick and let me know that you guys can see me good, right? I don't want to go ahead and start the live without, you know, you guys. All right. I see some yeses. I see some yeses. I see the plug. All right. All right, guys. So tonight we're going to have a pretty interesting one, guys, and as well as a special one tonight. Tonight we're going to introduce a special guest, as you guys saw during our, you know, post on the live training. So I hope you guys are, you know, ready for this one. As always, guys, if you guys have any questions, we always have a Q&A toward the end of the live training. So feel free to stick along to the end of the live training so we can go ahead and get to your guys' Q&As. But real quick, guys, everyone that's watching, I see I got a couple people tuned in. I'm going to go ahead and let the live run probably for another 45 seconds. But in the meantime, where are you guys watching from? Go ahead and comment down below where you guys are watching from. Go ahead and comment in your city. Go ahead and comment in your state. And let me know where you guys are watching from so I can go ahead and shout you guys out. As uh, while you know the live goes goes ahead and 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 keeps running for a little bit, right? We want to go ahead and get the algorithm going. We want more people to tune in. All right, I see Houston, I see Phoenix, I see Florida, Tampa. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to Katie. Shout out to Daniel. Shout out to Celeb. Shout out to Jim, California. I got a lot of people in California with the ATM business students. So shout out to you guys. Shout out to George from California. Jair, uh, Jair, 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 I hope I pronounced your name right, but shout out to you in Chicago. I also got another student in Chicago, Alabama. We got students nationwide, guys. We help everyone in the United States. As long as you're in the United States, we can help you start up your ATM business. So if you guys are watching and want, you know, you guys want to learn the ATM business, feel free to stick along as we will give you guys a step-by-step -step on how to properly start your ATM business anywhere in the united states shout out to odessa shout out to steve odessa texas i actually used to work out there shout out to you shout out to yvonne how, do, how you doing brother all right guys we're gonna go ahead and get started with our live training now for uh for everyone that is new to the live if you guys are excited for the live training and you guys have not received an atm business guide and this is for my people on facebook for my people on youtube go ahead and comment down below ATM guide. If you guys have not received an ATM business guide, it's a free guide. We send that to you straight to your message or your email, whatever you, wherever you want us to send it to. Go ahead and comment ATM guide and we'll go ahead and send that to you guys as soon as this live is done. Now for everyone on TikTok, if you guys do want a guide, feel free to go ahead and comment, uh, uh, not comment, sorry, send me a message to my Instagram. The little badge is on my bio. Send me a message and I'll be able to send that to you. But if you guys have not received the guide, for everyone that is new, go ahead and comment guide and we'll go ahead and send that over to you as soon as possible. But with that being said, guys, don't want to take up too much of your guys' time. And I also want to go ahead and make it quick and give you guys a little bit of a background story on myself, how I got started with the ATM business. I see everyone with the guys. I got you guys at the end of these uh, at the end of the live. Now, real quick, guys, let me go ahead and give you guys a quick background on me, how I got started with the ATM business and ultimately what qualifies me to give you some information on the business, right? At the end of the day, you always want to do your due diligence on the person that you're learning from, right? I literally live what I preach, guys. I currently own over 25 ATMs in, in Texas and generating passive income with the business, right? I generate passive income and now teach people how to start generating passive income with the ATM business. That's the whole point of my group. So I started three years ago, guys, back in January of 2020. I started my ATM business because ultimately I wanted to make my money work for me, right? I did not want to continue to trade my time for money. As you guys know, as I just said, I used to work out there in West Texas in the oil fields. And ultimately it was a, it was a good paying job, but it was something that was not sustainable, right? Eventually I was going to get worn out, right? Eventually, you know, I would... I would potentially run into some, you know, dang dangerous uh, situations out there, guys. There was a lot of deaths because, you know, a lot of people were losing control or getting hit head on out there in the oil field. So out there, it's crazy, guys. Out there, my longest day of work probably was like 21 hours, right? So uh, I worked, I used to work a lot, right? And 
I knew that wasn't sustainable. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to figure out how I can make my money work for me, how I can create a business, create an empire where I don't have to physically trade my time for money. And I actually started looking into the vending machine business. But as you guys know, with the vending machine business, although, although it is a great business as well, it's a lucrative business to as well, you know, make your money work for you. It required a little bit more time, right? It required you to show up to the businesses, fill them up with, you know, the merchandise, which of course also takes time. You also had to show up and buy all the merchandise. And then on top of that, you had to wait for the merchandise to sell, right? You had to wait for the merchandise to sell and not expire, which was one of the things that I took into consideration when I wanted to start my business, right? It was something that I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and hold off on that because what if my product doesn't sell or what if I don't find a great location, right? So then as I kept doing my due diligence, right, I ended up finding out about the ATM business. And this was, again, back in January 2020, if not a little bit before that. And I started looking into the ATMs, right? I did not know that you can own ATMs. You can literally own ATM machines, place them at your favorite convenience store, Put them in that location, literally install them and start filling them up with cash, right? You fill them up with one to three thousand dollars and you just let your money make you money, right? Whenever a customer needs to withdraw cash, all they have to do is just go up to your ATM, pay the convenience fee, which typically is about three dollars and fifty cents, you know, which is average in the United States, right? So uh people withdraw 20 bucks, they pay your 350, that's 350 profit to you. Now just imagine you get five transactions a day, right? That's about what 15 plus dollars. Uh, a day and then just imagine that times 30 days which is the month that's going to be your revenue your income from that location so the way i started to put numbers i started to get myself excited more about the atm business and that's how i started my atm business i paid for a course i learned a little from a course not too much because it's just a series of videos but i kept you know pushing i kept trying to learn more and more kept trying to connect with people that were already in the business to ultimately learn from them um and that's how i started my business in january of 2020 applied for my llc set up my company by february guys i had my first atm on location you could not imagine how much hate how many people told me hey the atm business is not going to work hey the atm business how are you going to make three dollars you're really planning on making three dollars and you're gonna be uh good to you know good for life and i always got a lot of hate right but i did not let that stop me right i kept going i kept pushing and little do you know guys by Jan by february which was literally a month from when i started my business i put my first atm on location and i was generating about 250 dollars a month now of course i started on my own so there was some trial and error there was some things that, of course, I had to learn from experience, but that just comes with starting entrepreneurship by yourself. And, you know, there are things that I've learned throughout my experience. Now, fast forward three years later, I got over 25 ATMs currently on location generating me passive income. And, of course, that's why I'm here now to help you guys understand the business model, start this business, mo this business model, and eventually start generating passive income, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed that little quick story uh, on me and how I got started with the business. But guys, I got a special guest for you guys today. I got a special guest for you guys. Um, this special guest here, he's the 19 year old entrepreneur. His name is Max. And he started his ATM business a little over a year ago now. He currently has about five ATMs on location generating him passive income. But guess what? That is not even his main source of income he actually started an online business on literally online generating him about six figures a year now and he just started his atm business because it was another way of generating income right you you guys know what they say the average millionaire has seven at least seven streams of income guys so just because he had a full-time, you know, business that's doing well for him, that did not stop him from continuing to invest into other business ventures, right? He found out about the ATM business. He started the ATM business. Now he has five ATMs currently on location. Guess what? Paying for his car, paying for his insurance, paying for his phone bill, literally getting him close, if not already, to financial freedom. So again, guys, his name is Max. Let me go ahead and bring him on. Hope you guys um, enjoyed everything, but let's go ahead and bring on Max. Max, you ready? Let's go bring on, let's go ahead and bring on Max. What's up, Max? How you doing? What's up, bro? I'm a little nervous, but I, I keep someone's for here. I see you got that ATM in the background. Yes, sir, bro. You already know. <laughs> ready to go, ready to go for location, huh? Yeah, man. Yeah, this is for, yep, just to show you guys. 
Awesome, awesome. All right, Max. Well, let's go ahead and let the people know a little bit about yourself, uh, how you got started with the ATM business. I know you already have a current six figure, you know, business that you're working with and it's an online business as you know a lot of people can see all them boxes back there that is currently what he is doing he has an online business very successful with that but again guys like i said he wasn't letting that get him comfortable right he uh, he wants more right he's an aspiring entrepreneur he's only 19 years old and he wants more right and that's the great thing about entrepreneurship there's really no limit you can do whatever you want as long as you put your mind to it so max let them people know a little bit about yourself, uh, how you got started with entrepreneurship. What what motivated you to work for your own money to start, um, you know, this journey? So uh, first of all, I want to thank I want to thank you for having me on here uh, in front of all of these people, man. Um, I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, but to get started, um, I actually I grew up in a in a in a very uh, Hispanic household, so most almost, most of my family were working. Um, we're trading their 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 time for money, and we never had. I didn't like that. I, I learned that it's it's trading trading your time for money isn't for me. So so when I was sixteen, when I was sixteen, I actually started. This is something that no one knows. I started a cheesecake business. My mom, uh, she would make cakes and she would sell it to to whoever she could sell it to, and that will pay the bills and all that stuff. She taught me how to make cheesecake. Um, so in my city. I was selling cheesecake from door to door, door knocking every single person that I knew, every single one of my contacts, my parents, friends, my family members for $12 a cheesecake or two for 20. OK, it was my first ever side hustle. Um, I made my first, you know, five grand in like six months. I thought I was so cool um, until I actually started figuring out um, how to scale a business and how to go online. Um, and I actually started a, a few online businesses. This is one of them right behind me. Uh, I do e-commerce. I sell stuff on the internet. Um, and then, you know, growing up, I'm currently 19, growing up and, and scaling and learning more about how to make money online, um, I actually ran into the ATM business. Um, first of all, I ran into the vending machine business. But like Juan said earlier, um, not nothing, nothing compared to the ATM business. Um, I had a lot of money to invest and a lot of people told me that um, don't save your money. If you want to become a millionaire, don't save your money or else you're going to be saving for the rest of your life. So I invested my money into my first ATM. Never looked back. Never looked back. Um, this business model has um, changed my life in a way. Uh, it's taken off a lot of stress off of me. Um, you know, for example, my car payment. Well, my phone bill, uh, I do help my parents with rent. So some of my ATMs do pay for, uh, let's say, half of the rent. Um, so that's something that I don't have to stress about every single month. Um, and I mean, I, I really don't know what else to say. Um, this business is it's amazing. Um, I currently own five ATMs. Um, hoping to get like Juan, probably own a few 20, 30, or even 50 before I pass away. But... <laughs> leave something for my children but you know um that's pretty much it from me that's awesome brother awesome story now again guys you know aspiring entrepreneur always wanting a little more for himself right and the great thing about it is you know the atm business it's a floating asset right it's a business model that you can not only start but eventually if you got you know, other business ventures that you want to dive into, you can continue to have your ATM business and just have other people fill up your ATMs for you or in a sense, you know, sell your business. There's different ways on how you can go about the ATM business, which makes it such a lucrative business to start, right? You don't necessarily have to go, you know, full on, you know, ATM business and the ATM business is all you want, right? You can start different business ventures. Just like Max, I had other businesses prior to the ATM business, but Again, I'm an aspiring entrepreneur myself, so I always wanted a little more, right? Before I had my ATM business, I had an auto detailing business, right? Once I started my ATM business, it actually created, you know, different opportunities that opened up much, many more doors for me to get started right, right when entrepreneurship. I actually bought a 2022 
Tesla Model 3 and I started putting it on Turo, right? I started to rent it out on Turo. Turo is a platform where you can rent your car out and, you know, have your car in a sense pay for itself or work for you. And that's exactly what I did, right? I leveraged my ATM business to just open more doors for me and just continue to, you know, generate assets, right? Generate um, cash flowing assets. And, you know, that's the great thing about the ATM business. And Max, um, let us know a little bit about, you know, how you were able to scale your business, right? You got currently five ATMs. To a lot of people, having five ATMs is pretty difficult, right? Unless you have some type of service helping you, you know, prospect locations. I believe you found your five locations all on your own. So let us know a little bit about how you started uh, prospecting locations. What was more beneficial for you when it came to prospecting locations? Um. So, so when it came to, when it came to locations, um, it's, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you, what you're doing is you're bringing in, I kind of learned this along the way. You're bringing in more value to the business. For me, it was harder because I was 18 at the time. Um, I'm still doing this to this day. I'm 19, but if you guys have a good look at me, I'm, uh, I'm pretty young. I look like a child. I'm pretty skinny too as well. So when, I, when, it, when it came to pitching my ATMs to business owners, um, a lot of them, unfortunately, didn't take me seriously because they'll tell me. I remember this guy. His name is um, Don, Don Abel. Uh, I'll never forget. He told me. Um, he, well, he said it in Spanish, but he told me, what do you know about business? It looks like you just came out of high school. Um, how are you going to talk? How are you going to come here to my business and talk about uh, wanting to put an ATM? You probably don't even have enough money for one. Um, and bro, that just instead of like putting me down. That just kept me going, and I just I dressed more professional. Um, I went ahead and go pitch more ATMs at other locations. Uh, gracias a Dios, I'm very blessed. A lot of business owners gave me the opportunity to place my ATM there. I brought more value to their business, um, but it was it was a little difficult for me uh, because uh, you know I'm young. You know I, I'm young. A lot of people don't take me seriously when it comes to talking about money or when it comes to talking about the ATM business. Um, but it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty straightforward. What you guys are doing is we're, we're, we're bringing in more value to the business and offering a service. Um, if there was something that I could, if there's something that I could have changed in the past, because I did lose a lot of money in this business because I started on my own, um, I would definitely, I would definitely learn from someone like Juan. I actually met Juan when I had like three ATMs, three and a half, three, three to four ATMs. Um, I would have def if I knew Juan earlier, bro, I would definitely recommend learning from someone um, than doing it on your own and going through all that stress because it is it is not worth it. I mean, it is worth it towards the end when you have a lot of, you know, assets making you money. But, yeah, that's pretty much how it went for me. Door to door. So door to door was probably your best option, right? Yep. A lot, a lot, of, be a lot of beginners always start with door to door. I actually started with door to door myself. And um, what really helped me out when it came to door to door, which is one of the best ways to go out and prospect locations as a beginner. Number one, the best reason, the best, one of the best reasons on prospecting locations door to door is because you get to experience literally in person and talk to business owners yourself, right? Whenever I started my ATM business, just like Max, I mean, I look pretty young and I started my business three years ago. I was really skinny. I also looked like a, like a kid, right? And on top of that, I was never really self savvy, which was one of the difficult things about being an entrepreneur and going out and prospecting locations was really having a, a sales pitch, having, you know, the 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 confidence to prospect and, and talk to people. So that was one of the toughest things for me, but the best way um, and and in a sense, the, the great thing that came out of it was actually experiencing it and learning from it, right? You get to now learn how to talk to businesses, what to say, what not to say, what businesses want to hear, what they don't want to hear. So it's although like like my boy Dillion in the comments says, it's a disadvantage, but also an advantage because you're learning as you're going, right? Yeah, as a yeah. beginner, I mean, uh, Max is only 19 years old. He started when he was 18, right? There was not a lot of people that would probably take him serious because of his age, right? So it's all about a, a, a learning experience. I reached out to a lot of people whenever I started my business and I would either get left on red or I just wouldn't get replies, right? So unfortunately, sometimes you just have to start on your own. Sometimes you just have to go out and prospect locations. But you know what they say, guys, practice makes perfect, right? So you always have to just show up and do it, right? 
you got to show up and do it and you got to just experience it right once you start to experience it you start to get used to it and almost become second nature right right now i can walk into any business and i can talk to a business owner have a friendly conversation ask a couple questions and not make it seem so pushy like if i'm trying to sell right because one of the biggest things when it comes to prospecting locations for your atm business is you have to not sound like a sales guy right you have to sound like a guy that's coming in here and trying to help you out, right? The last thing a business owner wants to hear is a sales guy trying to sell them something. Although yeah. that's our industry, right? Although that's a lot of, you know, the businesses that walk in through the through their doors, right? You always want to stand out a little, you know, a little to compared to anyone else, right? You want to sound like you're really genuinely in there trying to help them out, which is really what we're doing, right? Although placing an ATM at a location benefits us, we also want to make sure that it benefits them, right? It benefits them. So uh, that is probably right now one of the most important things that you can do as an aspiring entrepreneur, just going door to door. Door to door is probably the best way to learn how to sell, to learn how to speak to the business owners, to how, how to answer objections. And then again, guys, the next things are, you know, automated leads, posting online, posting online, you know, messaging on Facebook Marketplace, TikTok, Instagram, offer up, doing, using all these uh, platforms to your advantage, right? Running ads, all that good stuff. And then again, number, number three in this case would be cold calling, right? Cold calling is another great way to prospect locations because you're just simply generating a list and you're calling every single business one after one. Now, automated leads and cold calling, it's definitely a much more uh efficient way to to cover more area compared to driving and you know door to door right driving door to door is going to take you time driving you know driving from door to door and also walking into the business compared to cold calling or automated leads my favorite one out of the three is actually automated leads i don't know if max you've used uh, automated leads like on facebook marketplace but F facebook marketplace or offer up craigslist your instagram social medias in general guys are probably the best way to prospect locations because at the end of the day, number one, everybody has a smartphone. Everybody's online. So the best way you can actually prospect locations is by just posting online. Using the platform that you feel most comfortable using, whether it's Instagram, whether it's TikTok, whether it's Facebook, everyone's always on social media. So that is the best way to prospect locations because whenever you use automated leads, guys, you're generating hot leads. You're generating leads that are actually interested in your service compared to walking into a business and that business owner not being interested at all, right? So no sound. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Hold on, I'm, I'm getting a comment saying no sound. Probably. Uh, I can hear you perfectly. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Can you guys hear me? Yes, now, yes. Okay, okay. Sorry, guys. So, I will, all right, awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, guys. So, I was saying uh, the best way to, you know, find locations, prospect locations, it's automated leads, right? Automated leads is the best way to find locations because you're just simply posting on Facebook Marketplace, pay, uh, posting on OfferUp, Instagram, TikTok, and you're just allowing leads to hit you up, right? They're messaging you. They're letting you know, hey, I'm interested in your ATM. I want an ATM. I want to get started. And now you're generating leads that are interested in your service compared to you walking into the businesses door to door and then asking the business owner if they're interested and them just giving you a flat on answer like, no, I'm not right? So it's always, you know, it's always important to go door to door, get your feet wet a little bit, you know, understand the business model, understand how to sell. But then once you found, you know, the perfect pitch for you, the perfect sales script, then you can take that on to automated leads. Now you can hire, you know, people to find locations for you to where it's completely hands off for you. So that's one of the best ways to find locations. Now, real quick, everybody in the comments, guys, I see you guys are going crazy in the comments. Thank you guys for everyone that's commenting. But Real quick, guys, who here wants a quick step-by-step -step on how to start the ATM business? If you guys want a quick step-by-step -step on how to um, start the ATM business, go ahead and comment right now step-by-step. -step. Go ahead and comment step-by-step, -step, and in 30 seconds, we'll give you guys a quick step-by-step -step on how to start your ATM business from ground zero. If you're someone that's never done business, if you're someone that never has started a business in general or the ATM business, you don't know where to start, go ahead and comment step-by-step step and we'll go ahead and get back in 30 seconds and give you guys a full step-by-step -step on how to start your ATM business. All right, guys, we'll see you guys in 30 seconds.
All right, guys, welcome, welcome. All right, let's go ahead and jump into a quick step-by-step -step on how to start your ATM business. Now, a lot of you guys may know the four simple steps, but also a lot of you guys that are new to the group, I know we've got a lot of requests as of recently. Uh, thanks to Max. So for everyone that's interested in the ATM business, here is a quick step-by-step -step on how to start the business. Now, if you guys don't have a pen and paper, go ahead and get that. If you guys want to take notes on your phone, feel free to do that. Now, for everyone watching on the Facebook group or even the YouTube, don't worry. This is rec already recorded, so it will get posted back in the group for you guys to take advantage of if, you know, you guys are tuning in a little late or had to leave early. So, also, for everyone watching the replay, don't worry, guys. I see your guys' comments. So if you guys are watching a replay, feel free to comment any questions you guys have or anything um, in the replay. We're always keeping up with the comments during the replay. So real quick, guys, step number one to get started with your ATM business, both me and Max and everyone else in the, in the ATM industry has to complete this step. Reason being is because one, banks will not work with you, and that is setting up your company. Now, whenever you set up your ATM business, you need a company. You need to be a legitimate company. You need to show the bank that you're a legit company, you're a legit ATM business. Not only that, the state wants to make sure that you're a legit ATM business, right? You can't just show up to a bank and open up an account for the ATM business without showing that you are a company. Reason being is because one, ATM business, guys, it's, a, it's vulnerable to money laundering, right? So back in the day, a lot of people used the ATM business to launder money, right? So... Another way on how the banks can avoid that is making sure that you're a legitimate ATM business. So whenever you form your company, you need an LLC. An LLC is a limited liability company that is going to pretty much protect you and your personal assets and also register your business to the state, right, in which you reside in. An LLC is very important. You cannot start this business without an LLC. So first and foremost, LLC is number one. After you apply for your LLC, you're ready to go ahead and get your EIN, which is your employer identification number. An EIN you can get for free in the IRS website, through the IRS website. All you have to do is just go to the IRS website, apply for an EIN. You'll be able to download it right then and there. Now, once you got those two steps out of the way, you set up your company, right? You're ready to go. You got your company. Now it's just a matter of locking down your business bank account. Now, whenever you start your business bank account, guys, Again, the banks want to make sure that you're a legit business, so you want to walk in with the proper documentation. A lot of the times it's going to be your LLC, your EIN. Some banks may ask for a location agreement. Other banks may not. Um, some banks may ask you for a processing agreement. Other banks may not, right? It just depends on which bank you work with. But banks are number two. You want to make sure you work with an ATM business-friendly bank. The three banks that I always tell everybody to stay away from is Bank of America, Chase, and Wells Fargo. These three big banks here are banks that you do not want to work with. The reason being is because although they may take you in, which I've actually gone through myself already, I had Bank of America take me in. I was banking with them probably for about nine months. When out of nowhere, I showed up to the bank on a Friday to try to withdraw cash, and they were like, hey, your account's frozen. We can't give you cash. Now I had to leave my ATMs out of service for a whole weekend because I could not come up with some type of cash to fill up my ATMs, and I had like four or five at the time, right? So Bank of America, Chase, and Wells Fargo, these are the three banks that you want to stay away from, right? Stay away from these banks. Whenever you start your ATM business and you set up your business bank account and your uh, LLC, your company, you're pretty much ready to start working with an ISO, a processor, right? A processor is pretty much the company that's going to allow you to process transactions under their network, right? Whether it's CDS, whether it's Cartronics, whether it's PAI or any other processor company out there, right? You always want to work with a company that's not only going to provide you free processing, but also won't tie you up under a contract, right? Whenever you work with a processing company, it is very important not to sign up for a contract or sign a contract because that's when they get you. A lot of these companies, they take advantage of beginners in the business because they know that you know no, you don't know any better, right? So that is their way of taking advantage of you. As soon as they, you know, sense that from you, they're going to sign, make you sign a contract. They're going to charge you processing fees and now you're going to be stuck. And that's one of the things you want to avoid. So just like with your vehicle, you want to go to different mechanic shops. You want to go to different locations, get different quotes, and then go with the best option for you. That is the same thing with processing, right? Same thing with ISOs, independent sales organizations. You want to go to different companies and see who gives you the best rates, the best options, the best deals, right? 
once you got that taken care of, you're pretty much ready to start looking for locations. Now, locations, guys, are probably one of the toughest pieces of the puzzle when it comes to the ATM business, right? Not a lot of people are sell savvy. Not a lot of people have all the time on their hands to go out and prospect locations, go out and cold call. So this is why it's very important to take into consideration that, you know, mentorships are very important, right? Or location finder services are very important because they help you delegate that process, right? trying to go out and prospect locations, you know, they're going to help you minimize the struggle, right? When it comes to prospecting locations, but location is pretty much number four. Finding locations is very important. Locations are probably the best locations to target. Uh, sorry, locate cash only locations, high traffic locations are probably the best locations to target because one, if you have a high traffic location, guys, and let's say even though they're taking cards, they're getting like 100 people a day. And let's just say 1% to 5% uh, of those 100 people, let's say 2 to 5%, which is about average, people use your ATM. Just imagine that times 30 days. You know, if five people use your ATM a day times 30, what is that? 150 transactions a month, 150 times Three fifty, three dollars, uh, three dollars per transaction. That's gonna be like about four or five hundred bucks, right? And passive income from that ATM. So even if a business is not cash only, your ATM can still perform well inside of that business because at the end of the day, high traffic is one of the key factors when looking into locations. And then again, guys, most importantly, cash only, cash driven. I literally um, know I have so many businesses right now that are cash only in 2023 so that's already one of the things that a lot of people are concerned about is oh my god is cash going away uh we are not have we're, we're moving into a cashless society guys as you guys know there are still businesses opening up till this date that are cash only i currently have businesses right now that are cash only max i'm sure you have a couple businesses that are cash only so yep. there's still yep. businesses opening up every single day that are cash only guys um it may slow down, but I doubt we'll be cashless anytime soon, guys. If not, I'd sell my ATM business myself, right? I wouldn't continue to scale my business. So, uh, yeah, location is probably the uh, – it is the step four to get started with your ATM business. And pretty much once you've found a great location, once you installed your ATM, you're ready to start generating passive income and you're ready to start scaling, right? You're ready to look for the second one. You're ready to look for the third one. As some of you guys may already know, the ATM business – it takes you about, or it, uh, the startup cost is probably about six to nine thousand dollars to get started with this business. So if you're someone that has these funds available sitting in your bank account, making you no, making you literally no money, then feel free to look into this business. This is a great boring business to get started with, with such a, an amazing ROI, return on investment, right? To get started with this ATM business, of course, is going the startup cost. It it is a little bit higher, um, and that's because you got to set up your LLC, which of course is going to cost you a little money. You got to buy tools. You got to fill it up with cash. You need a business cards, brochure. So the startup cost for the ATM business and any other business out there, it's always going to be a little more than if you were to, you know, scale your business, right? Once you're at scale, once you're ready to buy that second, that third ATM, that's when the price drops to about 2,700 bucks per ATM, right? You don't need to continue to spend that seven, $8,000 per location because at that point, you already got brochures, you already got business cards out of the way. Uh, you don't have to deal with that, right? So that's how much it usually costs you to get started with your ATM business. And that's if you get this site to start by yourself or you just start or you decide to start with a mentorship program which is one uh one of the things i recommend you to go look for right to to do your, a little due diligence on right a program a mentorship very important to look into that because at the end of the day a smart man learns from their own experience a wise man learns from someone else's experience right um real quick max uh you want to go ahead and let the people know a little bit about your current locations uh wh what are the numbers that you're looking at with your business uh yeah, I I don't mind. I always tell, I always I always tell a lot of people some of my numbers and they don't believe it. So let's go ahead and let let them know a little bit about your current locations, how much you're charging, and um, you know how how the business owners currently enjoy your service. Um okay yeah so um for most of my locations most of my locations are in cash only businesses like Juan said it's true there, there's still a lot of cash only businesses out there in 2023 for obvious reasons. Um, but if we're talking numbers, I don't mind talking about numbers. I, I post everything on my Instagram, uh, on my social media, uh, for proof. 
um, because, you know, just, just, just to show some numbers, I can't show them here, but I could definitely share, depending on the location. It all depends on the location, the numbers you'll, you will be getting. You don't have to give exact numbers either, brother. It's just kind of a little bit of a, an example, right, of some of the locations you have. What, what are okay. your best performing locations, right? What are okay. your best performing? What are your average performing? And what you've experienced when it, came to lo when it comes to locations for your ATM business? So when it when it comes to locations, um, it's 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 important to see, for example, if you're if the location is hidden, if it's not, if it's on a busy street, if it's not on a busy street, um, if there's a bank nearby, if there's not a bank nearby, um, I actually charge four dollars and fifty cents. I started charging three ninety nine uh, when I first started. Um, slowly started raising it up and started realizing that people would still pay those $4.50, which is a little bit on the expensive side. If you do ask me, I do stay here in California and LA. Everything here is expensive. Um, I kind of learned that people do, people will pay that fee to access their own cash a lot quicker. Um, for example, I have an ATM at a cash only uh, barbershop. Uh, it's like six minutes away from me. Um, the nearest bank to that location is like, 10 to 15 minutes away uh literally um if you want to go get if you're in the barbershop and you want to go get cash you have two options you could use the atm and pay a three dollar four dollar fee or you could walk or drive to the nearest bank and then drive back and pay the owner um, but a lot of people i've kind of learned that a lot of people are very bougie um we will pay for the convenience um if juan if you don't mind me saying an example um for example, uh, on Uber Eats, uh, we will pay $25 for a $10 meal that we could go and get at McDonald's. Um, exactly. But we pay $25 on Uber Eats because we're paying the service fee, the convenience fee, all of these fees on Uber Eats. Uh, but we pay it. We still pay it because the food is coming to our doorstep, right? Uh, same thing goes for the ATM business. People will pay a, a fee that's going to be convenient for convenient to them they would rather pay that fee and access their cash a lot quicker right then and there using this machine than having to go and walk in the sun or go get it from a bank um but yeah i don't know if i answered any questions but yeah definitely uh, that was a great example that i always tend to you know to give uh give examples on the purpose of an atm right the atm business is not there to to rip people off right it's there to provide convenience right convenience is probably one of the most important things in people's life right people care about convenience like like max says uber eats you pay for the convenience of that food to get delivered to your door when you get uber you pay for the convenience of someone picking you up and dropping you off right exactly. to avoid parking to avoid you know tickets or whatever you want to do right of having a long time trying to figure out the parking spot at your, you know, nearest stadium, right? So convenience is the most important thing. And this is why the ATM business till this day is very successful, right? I currently have businesses that, yeah, like I got a, I got a comment right now says Zell. Yeah, I have businesses that currently take Zell, but the reason why ATMs are very lucrative to businesses is because and Zelle, with Zelle, now Zelle accounts have to pay taxes on every single Zelle transaction, right? Yeah. Now businesses have to pay uh, taxes on that Zelle cash app. They're going to start sending them a form called uh, a form uh, called 1099K, 99. right? That 1099K is going to pretty much let them know how much they made from Zelle, how much they made on cash app, and guess what? They have to pay taxes. Now, not saying this is okay, but a lot of businesses prefer cash. Why? Because they can report whatever they want, right? So with cash, it is very, it is very uh, important to a lot of businesses, right? It's very important to a lot of businesses, and it's the reason why the ATM business is still a great business to start, even in in this uh, in this year, right, 2023. Um, so very important. Convenience is probably the most important thing when it comes to you know businesses that are cash driven or cash only people are not going to get out the business and go drive their to their nearest bank to withdraw 20 40 bucks they rather pay three dollars and stay there right that is the whole you know the whole uh um purpose of the atm right i got businesses right now in 2023 guys that are probably generating me over 300 transactions a month i actually have one location generating me a thousand transactions a month and that's because guess what it's a cash only business and it's a high traffic business, which is probably a gold mine. And if you guys know any businesses 
that can do that, right? Their high traffic business on top of that cash only or cash driven. I would suggest you guys jump on that quick because that right there is a gold mine. But again, guys, even till this day, I had this location for three years and it's staying at a consistent basis of about a thousand transactions a month. So even from 2020 to 2023, it's still doing the same numbers. So that just goes to show, guys, that not a lot of people um, are really starting to use cash, right? If you if they don't have an option, number one, they're not going to have an option to pay with card. They're going to want to, you know, they're going to have to use your ATM to withdraw cash. So that's the purpose of the ATM. Now, Max, do you have any good locations that you'd like to share that are probably your best performing? Um I know barbershops, nail salons are usually great locations, especially for beginners. But from your experience, what have what has been the best locations for you? So, for me, uh, it would be uh, barbershops. Uh, you know, places with with a lot of foot traffic. I actually wanted to answer a question that I that I just saw in the in the Facebook comments. Go, go ahead, um, go ahead. Um, but Max, uh, four dollars and fifty cents. How many transactions a day? So I do, it, it does range. Sometimes you'll get three, sometimes you'll get four, sometimes you'll get nine or even 10. Uh, depend, like I said, depends on the location. Um, I do average around 150 up to 200 and something transactions at barbershops, which is absolutely insane if you guys run the numbers. Um, I do have a location that makes me more than a grand every single month, every single month. But uh, this location, I, I do give him a cut. Uh, it, I think it's only fair, but... I, I do, you guys could do the math. It's more 800, 900 up there. Um, every single month off of one location, uh, cash only businesses. Cash only businesses are gold mines. Um, I don't know, Juan, if you wanted to get into um, anything else, uh, but uh, for me, my personal experience, I would say uh, barber shops um, I, and restaurants. Um, cash only restaurants are still out there. And that's what's helped me. Um, I have an ATM at a at a it's a it's a family owned uh, restaurant. Just cash. They've they've been out there for fourteen years. Um, they gave me a shot um, because you, because I, I guess I, I pitched it accordingly. Very happy, very happy with that location. Um, it's, I saved them so much hassle, so so much headaches for for their customers. Um, but cash only businesses for sure. Restaurants and barber shops is what's helped me personally. All right, guys. Sorry, I got a little. I got a comment saying there was a fly on my hat. Um, but yeah, guys, locations that so far have been performing really well for me are cash only businesses. I got cash only restaurants. I got cash only bars. I actually, uh, I know some of you guys may already know this. I actually mentioned this, mentioned this during my last live, but I just installed the location, which is a gentleman's club, right? A strip club. These businesses right here, guys, are probably the best locations because every single person that's in there, guess what? They're throwing cash or they're spending uh, cash, right? So they're going to use your ATM especially if the business owner is pushing more cash transaction. The current business owner at that location at the gentleman's club, they have the credit card machines, but he told me that he has to pay fees on that credit card machine. So he does whatever he can to get the customers to pay with cash, right? He offers cash discounts, right? So whenever you got cash discount program, um, pretty much you're allowing your customer to pay with cash and get a discount compared to if they pay with card, right? So that gives the customer an incentive to pay with cash. Now, if the customer has cash, great. If they don't, there's an ATM right there and they'll use it, right? So businesses, guys, even till this day, they prefer cash because they hate those credit card fees. There's a lot of machines out there that, that they're unfortunately getting signed up with like Square and they have to pay transaction fees right every time a customer pays with the card they have to pay a three to four percent fee on that transaction and just imagine guys these are businesses that get hundreds and hundreds of people walking into their business every single day right they get businesses uh a lot of traffic coming in there every day so just imagine all these hundreds of people using their card uh credit card machine and now they gotta pay now they gotta eat the fees that the customers unfortunately aren't eating right because they don't want their customers to pay it so believe it or not a lot of people hate that a lot of business owners hate that and, and they do their best to try to go cash only or try to get people to pay with cash and like my boy Dillion in the comments says a lot of atms um a lot of banks they allow your 
clients or their clients to go to your ATM or any ATM out there, use the ATM and refund the fee, right? So yeah. there's actually a lot of banks that allow that, right? There's a lot of banks that will allow you to go up to an ATM, withdraw 20, 30, 40 bucks, and that $3, $3, $50, $4 fee, they give you a refund. Now, I don't know if they give you a refund for for however many transactions you want a month or a day. I probably believe, I, I think they do give you probably a limit, but I mean, come on, if, if you're getting your uh, fee refunded back into your accounts, and then at that point, you're, access, you're accessing cash for free, right? Your cash for free. You're not even paying that fee because it's refunded. So there's a lot of ways on how you can improve transactions on your ATMs, which a lot of people, of course, don't really know because, you know, they're not investing in themselves. They're not doing their due diligence. But yeah, yeah guys, believe it or not, banks do refund some of these fees. Some banks do, other banks don't. But um. Yeah, guys, let's go ahead and move into a Q&A. We've already been on live for probably about 46 minutes. So, yeah. again, guys, I always want to try to make it as short as possible, but we end up taking about an hour, which is always good because, I mean, you guys are interacting with us. You guys are commenting, asking questions, which is always, you know, good. So, I mean, we'll stay here as long as we can, but let's go ahead and move into a Q&A. For everyone that has any questions on the ATM business, feel free to start getting your questions ready. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys 30 seconds to start coming up with some questions. And then we'll go ahead and get you guys to start commenting them in just a second. So give me 30 seconds, guys. All right, so I actually got a question in my face and my TikTok. That's a really good one. It's a really good one. And um, a lot of people always actually have this question, right? And he said, what is stopping the business itself from getting their own ATM? Guys, the ATM business, it's a whole different business, right? If a business owner is already managing their business, they're already dealing with payroll. They're already dealing with, you know, inventory. They're dealing with employees. They're dealing with, you know, their business in general, right? Improvements, you know, freaking liabilities, electric bills, all that good stuff that they got to continue to have to run their business. The last thing they want to do is deal with an ATM. The last thing they want to do is have to go to the bank every single week, every single other day or every single two weeks to get cash and fill it up, fill up their ATM, you know, for them. Not only that. You're, a business can just go to their current bank that they're dealing with for their business and open up a business bank account, a separate account for the ATM business. As soon as they let them know, oh, I want to open up another account for my ATM business, their bank is going to be like, oh, no, we don't work with the ATM business. So that is actually another reason why businesses themselves don't actually continue with their own ATM, their own business, right? That's why they don't provide their own their own ATM for that exact reason. And then again, guys, I actually have a, a bazaar out here in my area. Uh, she had, it's a bazaar, it's a big bazaar. She had one ATM in her, in a bazaar. And she reached out to me on Facebook and she was like, hey, can you help me out with ATMs? She was like, I currently have an ATM in, this, in, in my business, my bazaar, but I'm tired of maintaining it. I'm tired of going to the bank. I'm tired of dealing with that. I'm tired of filling it up. I just want someone else to deal with it. I'd rather you deal with it and just pay me a percentage per transaction. And that is exactly what I started to do. Now she doesn't have to deal with it. And that's why a lot of businesses uh, would rather not deal with the ATM business because it's a whole different business they have to start. You can just link that ATM to your current bank account for that business because eventually whenever your bank finds out that you have an ATM business, you know, doing multiple transactions because you do get your ATM cash every single day into your account. Once the bank finds that out, they're going to shut you down. And that's exactly why bank uh, businesses do not want to start their own business. So basically competition to them. Exactly. So um, let me go ahead. We got a couple questions in the group. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, 
So yeah, so right now I will also give you guys a little bit of a, a background, not a background, but a little bit of an overview on our mentorship program, what it is that we offer for everyone that's interested in starting the ATM business. We do offer a program that pretty much helps you start your ATM business from scratch, right? We help you from the ground up. We are a done with you program and I'll get into that in just a second. Let me just go ahead and answer a couple more questions and we'll move into that. How much would you recommend spending on your first ATM? Whenever you're a beginner, I always recommend starting with the brand new ATM. Reason being is because with the brand new ATM, you get warranty and it's a brand new machine, right? You don't have to worry about any malfunctions. Whenever you buy the, uh, whenever you buy a used ATM, although you are going to save yourself a couple hundred bucks buying a used ATM, if something ends up happening to it, like a malfunction, a dispenser going out, a keypad, a credit card reader going out, guess what? That's also going to cost you a couple hundred bucks, right? On top of that, it doesn't come with warranty. So, I mean, you can kind of pick your poison in a sense, right? Whenever you're a beginner, the last thing you want to do is deal with a malfunction. So always start new when you're new. Later on, when you start to gain some experience, when you start to know what to look for, what to, you know, put, what, a, what, what to pinpoint in a machine, then you can go ahead and start buying used. But always recommend buying new. Um, so interchange, a lot of, I got a comment saying talk about interchange. So when it comes to interchange, um, as an ATM business owner, there's there's a, a a profit that's called interchange, but it doesn't go to the ATM business owner. It actually goes to the processing company. The reason why it goes to the processing company is because they're the ones providing you processing, right? And the reason why they offer free processing is because they make interchange. Interchange yep. is pretty much a profit that the eight that the processing company is making from the company's Visa, Mastercard, Ma um, Amex. What's the, what other one? Amex. Uh, right. Even uh, even you know government government cards like uh, food stamps and all that good stuff, right? So that's interchange, right? These companies pay our processors fees, which is interchange, so it can allow your ATM to take those cards. So interchange is a couple cents, you know, per transaction, and there's a reason why you know ATM business owners don't get interchange unless your portfolio grows, right? Unless um, it's it's worth it for the for your processor to give you interchange. So interchange is something that you get later on down the line when you're at scale. Yeah. Message but yeah, me. being a processor is definitely headache. Yeah, definitely headache. What should your message, me or Juan? Let me <clears> see. <throat> let me see. Let me look at more questions. You got any questions um, on your TikTok, Max? Um. You guys, you guys have any questions? There's a, there's, there's a, there's a lot of people on the live, but everyone, I think, is just listening. Um, do you, do you, do you have to service your own ATM? Another very important question. Whenever you're a beginner in the ATM business, this is the reason why mentorships um, programs are very important, right? Whenever you're programming your own ATM, whenever you're maintaining, you're servicing your own ATM, it is very important to know how to do it, when to do it, what, what's needed and what's not, right? And the only way to find that out is if you understand your machine, right? As a beginner, you're probably not going to know how to program your machine. You're probably not going to know how to properly set up your ATM and service it, clean it out and all that good stuff, right? So like I said, this is why it's very important to invest in a mentor, because a mentor is going to guide you throughout that whole process. Whenever you start as a beginner, if you start by yourself, you're probably going to have to invest into pre-programming so services, right? Pre-programming services. You're probably going to have to invest into a technician to go out and install your ATM. And that is going to be money out of your pocket, right? Compared to if you enroll with a program, a program or a mentor will actually guide you on how to do that. So you save that money instead of spending it on a technician to do that for you. You put it back in your pocket and you do it yourself, which it is possible. I install every single one of my ATMs on my own. Max installs every single one of his ATMs on his own. And all 45 other of my students nationwide install their ATMs on their own because, again, that process probably is going to cost you 350 bucks minimum if you hire someone else to do it, right? So we actually walk you through how to properly program your own ATM yes, so sir. that you avoid doing those fees. Yeah. I'd rather learn. I'd rather learn. It's really good to learn and avoid all exactly. of those fees. Exactly. So I got I got a couple more questions, but before I get into continue to with your questions, guys, let me go ahead and go over my mentorship program and what it is that we currently offer. So a lot of people right now 
are interested in getting started right now whether you want to get started on your own which there is nothing wrong with starting the business on your own there is a couple disadvantages when it comes to starting the business on your own reason being is because when you start this business on your own you're going to probably go through trial and error, right? You're going to go through trial and error. There's going to be a couple of things that you don't know how to do or, for example, how to sell, how to scale your business. So this is why it's important to invest into a mentorship, right? And with that being said, we do offer a mentorship. We have uh, done with you mentorship. Pretty much what that means is we're actually going to do the ATM business along your side. We're going to help you build your ATM from the ground up. We automatically, in our program, provide you an online step-by-step -step course, right? The online step-by-step -step course is going to guide you from A to Z on the business. It's going to allow you to start your ATM business from A to Z. We show you how to provide, how to start your LLC. We show you how to get your EIN. Yeah. We literally teach you how to maintenance your own ATM, how to program your own ATM, all the way up to literally installing your ATM. So in the course alone that you get with our program, you're going to automatically know everything you need to know to fully operate your own ATM business. Besides the course, you're also going to get access to our clients only Facebook group. Now the clients only Facebook group, again, it's only for clients, it's only for people, part of our mentorship. Yep. This is where we are going to keep everybody in the loop. This is where we're gonna let you know whether there's any updates on the industry, whether we got any updates on the program, any new videos, any uh, special trainings that we do for our clients only, bring on different you know, people into the group to, to teach you sales, to teach you scaling, marketing, all that good stuff. We are going to pretty much keep everybody in the loop in the clients only group. And again, it's for clients only, right? People that are part of our mentorship program. Now with our program, we do give you one brand new ATM. You do get one included right so for anyone that's interested in atms and where to buy one you don't have to worry about that we are a one-stop shop we help you out with everything right we help you out with an atm we provide you an atm ohio sun halo 2 comes with two-year warranty from the manufacturer and it is 100 yours we also provide you an internet box with an atm right the internet box is there to give your atm internet allows it to connect to the network when it comes to, you know, start setting your ATM up on location. Now, the only thing about the internet is that you do have to pay $6.99 every single month. And that's just to continue to give your ATM internet box internet, right, service. Besides that, we're also going to provide you with free unlimited processing. A lot of people are always like, what processor can I work with? Who should I go with? Who can I trust? We provide you free unlimited processing, the best of the best. We provide you free unlimited processing, meaning we do not tie you up under no contract. We do not charge you no processing fees. And you can scale your business to however many ATMs you want. And we're not going to change up on you. It's going to continue to be the same service, the same agreement that we had whenever you signed up with your first ATM. Now, besides the, pro the ATM processing, I'm also going to provide you ATM programming training. Now, a lot of programs don't offer this, but we do. We actually walk you through on a phone call or a Zoom call, Google Me, whatever you want. We walk you through how to properly program your own ATM as well as how to properly install your own ATM. So you know exactly the best way to program your machine as well as how to understand your programming, your software within the machine, but also how to properly install your ATM on location to better secure it right we do that automatically part of our but just by being part of our program with that being said you get unlimited one-on-one -on -one mentorship unlimited one-on-one -on -one mentorship pretty much consists of you being able to reach out to us anytime that you want right with our program you still do get tech support you get 24 7 tech support with our atm supplier as well as our internet provider and processors but you also get unlimited one-on-one -on -one mentorship where you're actually going to have our personal contact information. You're going to have my cell phone number. You're going to be able to reach out to us anytime you need any help. You're going to let us know whether you need help troubleshooting a machine, whether you need help fixing an error code, or you have any questions regarding the ATM business. We're going to be there for you. And you do get unlimited one-on-one -on -one mentorship and you do get this lifetime as well. There's no recurring fees. There's no uh, one year only. You get this for lifetime as well as the online course and the clients only group and the processing now last but not least guys you get over a dozen pdfs that are going to help you start your atm business as efficiently as possible so we provide you a list of atm business friendly banks we provide you sell scripts we provide you qualification questionnaires brochures and all, a lot more pdfs to help you start your atm business and 
besides that that is my elite package now also guys we do offer unlimited location finder service which right now is probably our bread and butter this is what separates us from any other program out there we offer unlimited location finder service and pretty much what our unlimited location finder service consists of is us going out and finding locations for you right assisting you when finding locations now the great thing about our unlimited location service is that we don't charge you upfront costs per location we actually take a small 10 percent fee of your atm transactions so however your atm performs that reflects on our income as well, right? So we win with you, not off of you. A lot of location finder services out there, they charge you about $600 to $1,000 per location that they find you. And that does not matter whether it's a good location or whether it's a bad location. As long as they get their money, they're done, right? They're done with their service, right? Um, with our system, we have it to where we actually have an invested interest in finding you great locations because that's yep. how our location service makes or generates income right we have an invested interest in finding you the best locations out there because that's how they make their money right and all we take is a small 10 percent fee from your atm transactions which again guys if you look at any other business that that offers a service like this like for example airbnb if you put an airbnb or a house on your airbnb guess what airbnb is going to take a percentage right up to 20 25 percent yeah. off of your income because they're offering you that service Uber Eats, I mean, same thing. If you drive for Uber, same thing. If you rent your car on Turo, same thing, right? You have to still pay them a percentage. You may not pay upfront costs, but you may pay a percentage of your income, right? So um, depending on how your ATM does, will also reflect on the income that our location uh, service generates. So that's our location service. And that's how we, in a sense, can help you scale your ATM business without breaking your bank, right? A lot of location services out there, like I said, they charge you a lot. They charge you an arm and a leg to find you one location, right? With us, we find you as many locations as you can, as you can fulfill. We went with you. We went along with you, not off of you. So that's one of the things that separates us from any other program out there. And that right there is our unlimited location finder service elite package. If you guys are interested in this package that I just listed right now, go ahead and comment plug right now. That's P-L-U-G. Go ahead and comment plug right now. Now for everyone on TikTok, you guys have to directly message us on Instagram. Go ahead and message us plug so we will know that you guys are interested and that way we can go ahead and reach out to you guys uh, with more information on our program. I see some of you guys on TikTok are commenting plug. I'm going to go ahead and follow you guys. But send me a message on Instagram. It's probably the best way for you guys to get in touch with me fast, right? For everyone in the group, though, in the Facebook group, I see a bunch of people commenting. For everyone in the group, I will personally reach out to you guys, get a hold of you guys, and get you guys started with a quick 10 to 15-minute informational call, guys. At the end of the day, we're here to help you out. We're here to help you scale your business. We're here to help you learn how to generate passive income. So we're going to jump on a quick 10 to 15 minute informational call, straight information. You get to ask more questions. We get to give you a little bit more information on our package, what we offer. And at the end of the day, guys, if we are a great fit for you, then we're off to the races. If we're something that doesn't fit you, then we go our separate ways and you can continue to learn the ATM business here in the group, right? At the end of the day, we're here to help you out. We're here to scale, help you scale your ATM business. And the best way to do it is offer the best program out there. Right now, probably we are the best program out there. You guys can jump on that quick to 10 to 15 minute informational call. We'll go over our program. And after that call, you can do your due diligence. And I guarantee you there's nothing out there better than us. So with that being said, guys, that's pretty much our elite package. Like I said, for everyone that's interested, go ahead and comment plug. Everyone on my TikTok, message me plug. Because when you guys comment, I can't go back and see your guys' comments. So I'm following everybody that I see that is commenting plug. And then we'll go ahead and set up a quick 10 to 15 minute informational call and get you guys started with your ATM business. But with that being said, I mean, Max, do you guys, uh, do you have anything else for the people that you'd like to drop real quick? Some gems? You're muted, Max. Uh, you're muted, Max. There you go. Can you hear me? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Um, some gems. Okay. Um, yes, actually. Um, don't be scared to invest. Uh, if 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 I could, if there's something that I could say is uh, yes, don't be scared 
uh, to invest. It takes money to make money. And I learned that I learned that at a very young age, which I'm very, very grateful for. Um, it, it takes money to make money. Um, and um, I wish everyone, all, everyone the best um, in, in this business. Um, you guys are more than welcome to, to reach out to, to either me or Juan in, in the Facebook group. Um, and we'll love to guide you guys in the in the correct path. And um, yeah, I'm just excited. Very, yes, very, very important, guys. Very important to be able to invest in yourself. That's that's one of the number one things when it comes to entrepreneurship is being able to invest in yourself. I mean, I can't I can't stress this enough, guys. If I would have never invested in myself, if I would have never trusted the process, I would not be in the current situation that I am today. So without investing in yourself, you're only going to learn from experience, right? And learning from experience could be a potential slow process, right? So at the end of the day, you want to do whatever you can to help speed up your process, right? You want to be able to get to financial freedom as soon as you as soon as you can, right? The only way to do that is by investing in yourself, by investing into someone else's experience. So um, don't let your ego get in the way. That's one of the things that actually hurt me whenever I started my business was letting my my ego get in the way. And unfortunately, you know, uh, losing time, losing money because I did not want to invest in myself. I was the type of person that was like, I can learn for free on YouTube. And guess what? Eventually, you'll get tired of putting the puzzle together on YouTube. You'll get tired of it. So um, trust me, investing in yourself is number one, number one when it comes to, you know, entrepreneurship, right? Any, anything, anything that, um, you know, you can, you can do to invest in your self-education, that's going to help you many times over, whether it's the ATM business, whether it's sales training, whether it's marketing, digital marketing, whatever it is that you invest in yourself, just know that that information, as long as you're investing into a reputable, you know, company, then you're good, right? At the end of the day, you also want to do your due diligence on who you invest in, right? You don't want to just invest into someone that's selling something online. You want to invest into someone that you see is actually doing it, right? I live what I I live what I preach, guys. I have 25 ATMs of my of my own generating me passive income, right? So I know the ins and outs of this business. And that's why I feel comfortable in teaching people and allowing them to invest into my knowledge because I was able to gain an experience with this business that now I can help people like everyone in the comments right now start your ATM business in less than 90 days, right? It took me a little bit of time, but I had to go through trial and error. I didn't comfortable, comfortably start my business and start generating decent income probably until like my first uh, year, right? And I can, you know, help you start your ATM business in 90 days or less. So for anyone interested, again, everybody in the in the TikTok, message me if you're interested in starting. Again, for anyone watching, if you guys have not received an ATM business guide, go ahead and message me, guide, ATM business guide, and I will personally send you an ATM business guide. That is free. I will send that to you as soon as I get off this live. Anyone that's interested, message me, guide. Uh, let me see. Bernard, what's up, brother? How you doing? Uh, let me see. Hey, Juan, I followed up a couple of days ago about location service. I'm ready to get the invoice. Yes, sir. We'll go ahead and get you guys started with anything that you guys need. Just message me. Anyone commenting guide for an ATM business guide, I will also send that your way. Don't worry. As soon as I'm done with this, as soon as I'm done with the live, go ahead and uh, go ahead and expect a message from me. Now, everybody that's commenting on my TikTok, please message me either here on TikTok or on Instagram because, of course, I can't see your guys' comment after I end the live. You guys will have to send me a message if you guys want a guide or if you guys want the, the 10 to 15 minute informational call on my mentorship program. Message me plug, P-L-U-G. But with that being said, guys, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed the live. We've been on here for an hour and eight minutes, an hour and nine minutes now. So, again, I try to always make it short, but I can't. It's always It always ends up being an hour. But I appreciate everybody that has so far tuned into the live, that has so far interacted with us. Thank you guys so much. Uh, but with that being said, again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to continue to comment them down below or reach out to us through DMs, and we'll go ahead and help you guys out as much as we can. But – with that being said, that's pretty much going to be it for tonight's live. Um, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Peace. Bye, guys. You guys have a good one.